In recent days, signs have become increasingly clear that the Boeing 777X is nearing entry into commercial service. The Boeing aircraft has been so successful that many experts believe only the launch of a brand new aircraft from Airbus, a stretched version of the A350-1000, known as the A350-2000, could surpass the 777X and fully dominate this market segment. But why does this new Airbus aircraft pose such a serious threat to the 7X and Boeing? What can we expect from this extended version? Let's find out. The A350 has long been a cornerstone of Airbus's wide-body strategy. Originally developed in the early 2000s to meet the demands of a growing market, the aircraft entered commercial service in 2015 with the A350-900 variant. Since then, the A350 family has expanded to include several versions, the long-range A350-900, the higher-capacity A350-1000, and even ultra-long-range ULR models. However, with the A380 program officially discontinued and the Boeing 747 gradually fading into history, the A350 now stands as one of the few modern long-haul widebody programs still in production. The launch of version 2000 is not only logical but necessary. It comes at a time when the industry has decisively shifted away from four-engine giants like the A380 and 747, favoring fuel-efficient twin jets. This trend is driven by volatile fuel prices, the higher maintenance costs of additional engines, and major advances in twin-engine technology, allowing these aircraft to fly farther and carry more. Still, some airline executives and analysts believe the market for high-capacity aircraft is not dead. Key routes, especially those connecting super hubs in Asia, the Middle East, and North America, continue to demand maximum range and passenger capacity. This is the gap version Airbus 2000 aims to fill, a space where current wide bodies may be too small or insufficiently efficient. Moreover, the A350's biggest competitor, Boeing's 777X, has served as a sobering wake-up call for Airbus. Back in 2018, when the A350-1000 was introduced, Airbus executives were quick to dismiss the 777-9 as an awkward mix of old and new technology, a design they claimed could never truly compete with the A350. But reality had other plans. To date, the A350-1000 has received only 327 orders, while the yet-to-be-certified 777-9 has secured 383. A serious threat, especially to an aircraft like the A350 that has long proven its safety and operational efficiency. This is why launching a larger aircraft is not just a timely opportunity, it's a crucial move in a high-stakes battle for market dominance. So what exactly can we expect from this new version? Let's take a closer look, but... Hold on, still with us? It's about to get even more surprising. But before continuing, don't forget to like, share, and hit subscribe. Thanks a ton. First, capacity. While the current A350-1000 can accommodate up to 369 passengers, its potential successor, the Stretch 2000, is expected to offer significantly more. By extending the fuselage by roughly 4 meters, this new variant could add 40 to 50 extra seats. That would bring its total capacity to around 450 passengers, putting it in direct competition with the Boeing 777X, which holds between 426 and 450 passengers depending on configuration, and reshaping the balance of power in the large twin-engine aircraft market. This isn't just about adding seats, it's about redefining what a high-capacity, long-range aircraft can achieve. As Airbus's CEO stated, the new A350 variant will offer even greater range and capacity, which is increasingly important in a more crowded aviation market. That message underscores that the new aircraft is not merely a technical upgrade, it's a bold strategic move to claim a larger share of long-haul routes and give airlines a new tool in the battle for high-efficiency, high-volume operations. Second, in terms of design, this stretched variant is expected to receive substantial aerodynamic and structural upgrades. One of the most significant enhancements could be a modified wing design to improve lift and fuel efficiency, two critical factors for long-haul operations. Although the current A350 wing is already highly optimized, Airbus may consider minor shape adjustments, revised sweep angles, or new wingtip devices to enhance performance at higher takeoff weights. With a longer fuselage and added payload, Airbus is expected to increase the aircraft's maximum takeoff weight, MTOW. While it may remain within the overall structural limits of the version 1000 platform, the added weight will likely require reinforced landing gear and localized airframe strengthening, modifications that the robust aircraft design can handle with minimal disruption. 
In particular, the widespread use of carbon fiber composite materials in the fuselage and wings provides a significant advantage. These materials are not only lighter, but also stronger and more corrosion resistant than traditional aluminum alloys, enabling Airbus to stretch the fuselage without a major increase in empty weight, thus preserving fuel efficiency. This structural edge is a key asset for the A350. Third, and arguably the most critical factor, is the engine system. Under its wings, the stretched A350 will need more powerful engines to match the increase in size and weight. The current version 1000 is powered by the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97, which delivers up to 97,000 pounds of thrust. For the stretched variant, Airbus may choose to further optimize this engine or take a bolder leap by adopting Rolls-Royce's next-generation Ultrafan. Ultrafan promises significantly better fuel efficiency through a higher bypass ratio and advanced materials technology. Either option would allow the aircraft to carry more passengers while flying farther than ever before. However, this is also the A350 2000's potential Achilles heel. Compared to Boeing's GE9X engine on the 777X, with a significantly larger fan diameter, 134 inches versus 118 inches, on the Trent XWB97. The Trent XWB appears relatively modest in overall size and maximum thrust capability for such a large aircraft. While the Trent XWB has performed efficiently on the A350-1000, it may become a limiting factor for a stretched and heavier version like the A350-2000, which will demand more thrust to maintain optimal performance and range. This puts Airbus and Rolls-Royce in a challenging position. Either push the current XWB platform to its technical limits through reinforced materials, optimized internal components for higher temperatures and pressures, or improved control algorithms, or take the leap to the next-gen Ultrafan. While Ultrafan offers superior efficiency, it's also a completely new technology that carries early-stage reliability risks and significant development costs, yet the potential payoff is substantial, providing Airbus with a truly competitive aircraft to challenge the 777X in the risky wide-body segment for years to come. More power also means more range. With the right engine configuration, the A350-2000 could easily handle non-stop flights on some of the world's longest and most demanding routes, such as Singapore to New York or Los Angeles to Johannesburg. That capability would give airlines the flexibility to serve high-density markets with fewer stops, lower fuel consumption per seat, and higher overall efficiency. This is especially attractive to long-haul focused carriers and major hub operators. Even with its ambitious goals, this version will still benefit from Airbus's existing technical foundation. The fuselage will feature strategically placed frames and reinforced load-bearing structures to manage added stress. To comply with safety regulations for increased passenger capacity, the aircraft will also require an additional Type C emergency exit, a crucial design element for fast evacuation in emergencies. If Airbus can focus development efforts on stretching the fuselage without major changes to wing architecture or propulsion systems, the path to certification may prove surprisingly smooth. However, the true measure of success will come down to economics. Can Airbus deliver increased capacity without driving up operating costs? That remains the central question, and one that could shape the next decade of long-haul travel. However, before addressing questions about costs and technical barriers, Airbus now faces a bigger question. Is there still room in the market for a massive aircraft like the A350-2000? Most airlines with high-capacity needs have already committed to the existing A350-1000 or Boeing 777X. While potential customers like Emirates may continue to express interest in a larger aircraft due to their mega-hub model and extremely high-density routes, Emirates remains an exception rather than the rule. In today's aviation landscape, few if any airlines operate the same unique combination of long-haul, high-density routes that Emirates does. This puts Airbus in a difficult position. Is the A350-2000 truly a solution grounded in market demand or simply a technical response to Boeing's growing dominance? Without a solid base of committed customers and a clear demand forecast, even the most advanced aircraft risks becoming an expensive gamble. Convincing airlines that have already invested in the 777X to switch to the A350-2000 will be an incredibly tough task, one that requires Airbus to prove clear advantages in economics and performance. However, Airbus does have another strong card to play, operational cost savings. Preliminary estimates suggest this aircraft could offer up to 10% lower operating costs and 5% lower cost per seat compared to the 777X, a game-changing factor for airlines still recovering financially in the post-pandemic era. Lower maintenance costs, thanks to corrosion-resistant composite materials, 
are another major plus. If Airbus can convincingly demonstrate these economic benefits, it may still succeed in attracting new customers or encouraging existing operators to expand their A350 fleets. The A350-2000 is Airbus's answer to the widening gap and perhaps their bold attempt to turn the tide. With a stretched fuselage, increased capacity, and significant aerodynamic enhancements, this aircraft could be the ideal replacement for aging giants like the Boeing 747 and Airbus A340. Unsurprisingly, the focus is on regions such as the Middle East and Asia Pacific, where ultra-long-haul routes and dense passenger demand have created a strong appetite for larger, more efficient aircraft. Few remember that this version was once revealed by Airbus, only to be shelved, not due to a lack of potential, but because of a strategic conflict. At the time, Airbus was fully committed to the A380, and introducing a long-range twin jet like the A350-2000 risked cannibalizing the market share of their own flagship. But today, that concern is outdated. The A380 has ended production, and the 777X now threatens Airbus's position. The window of opportunity has reopened, and Airbus knows it must act before the wide-body market slips further into Boeing's hands. Will the A350-2000 truly beat the 777X? What do you think about this showdown? Share your thoughts below. Thanks, and stay safe.